Hi everybody, this is CT Readings and hi Leo. Let's see what messages will show up for you guys. Oh my god. Ten of Wands, what has been stressing you out, Leo? Now Leo, in case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked below, okay? Now let's see. Messages for Leo. I will also be giving you your guided message towards the end of this reading, okay? So let's see. Tell me what's this Ten of Wands. You've been feeling burdened lately. You've been feeling exhausted, okay? Eight of Wands. This is time for forward movement, though. Eight of Wands, you know, stuff that was seeming stuck, uh, it's going to get moving again. Eight of Wands is a card of movement, forward movement. This could also represent communication. I'm also getting that, Leo, a lot of you could be hearing from a person that you do not expect to hear from, okay? Um, I see communication, yeah, I see some form of an action being taken. I also see an energy of releasing old patterns or recognizing things that need to go from your life, okay? So I'm also getting, Leo, that recently y'all have been very busy. Maybe you have a busy schedule or, you know, you haven't been finding time to relax. So let's see what more do we have for Leo. Uh, Knight of Wands. Um, somebody's coming in, Knight of Wands. Wanting to communicate, wanting to talk, wanting to express. Show me what's up with that Knight of Wands energy. Seven of Wands and the Hermit. On and off behavior on and off behavior I feel like Leo you got tired of somebody's on and off behavior towards you and again one thing I'm getting here is that in this situation one person was more emotionally mature than the other one okay straight up So yeah, you got tired of somebody's on and off behavior. Um, and you decided to release the situation perhaps, okay. Show me, show me what's there, show me. Queen of Cups. <laughs> this is crazy because when I was pre-shuffling, I kept seeing the Queen of Cups. So that's the difference between the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is more emotionally invested than the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is more like an action-oriented energy. Eight of Pentacles. You know, your energy is one of those energies, Leo, where it's like, okay, I did all I could, or I really loved this person, but I have to maintain a certain level of distance here. Deciding to focus more on your work and leaving it up to the destiny, okay? Ace of Wands. There is going to be a new start. There's a lot of Wands in the reading. Um, Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands. Aries Leo Sag energy is a lot in the reading. We have Cancer. We also have Scorpio Aquarius Taurus Leo. So and Pisces. Okay. So one thing I am really getting here is that there's going to be lots of forward movement for you. Again, Leo, this is a very um, action oriented energy. The Devil. One thing I'm going to tell you is that there might be somebody who's a player okay uh, ten of cups somebody could be a player
the moon and the ten of cups oh my god there's a warning sign for you it's like oh, oh my god let me actually see healing from a situation it's like you know what is it to cheer yet in the knight of cups emperor advice from the reading three of swords mm, understanding high priestess trusting your intuition overall energy from the reading is the star with the ten of pentacles this is your time to shine oh my god we have uh leo we have the ace of pentacles behind it so you're getting the ace of pentacles the ten of pentacles and the star together this is lots of healing okay I also feel like a lot of you are going to be recognized in your work. Some of you are very intuitive. You are very um, spiritually aligned. Okay, I do see some form of an energy here. Um, how do I say this? It's like an energy of promotion or making a lot of money like it's like uh, you know in the in I don't know how to say this it's like a sudden change in your finances being recognized for your work some of you may be wanting to try something new or invest your money into something new let me tell you it's gonna pay off the star ace of Pentacles and the ten of Pentacles Wow your energy right now is very very abundant okay Whoever's approaching you, Knight of Cups Chariot, they're very drawn to you. But again, I'm going to warn you that if this is a tried and tested situation where somebody has proven to you that they're not serious about you, then chances are they're really not, okay? Let's clarify. Um, tell me what the Eight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune is. The Chariot, Six of Wands, and the King of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles again. You're very clear about the choices that you're making, okay? And you're also in this energy where you're, if somebody's bringing you confusion and, you know, there's a sense of, oh, what do I do about the situation? There's lack of clarity. You're just going to move on. You're just going to move on, okay? chariot six of wands and the king of swords this is really uh, a sense of okay first of all this is detachment okay this is thinking more from logic and secondly putting your focus and attention on things in your life that you feel very drawn towards because with this person you may feel drawn towards them but i feel like you're pulling back your energy and focusing on other things okay what's the wheel of fortune three of swords a lot of it is driven by your heartbreak mm, because of the knight of wands who is this knight of wands person let me know in the comment section who is this knight of wands they're showing up in your challenge. They're showing up behind, you know, your heartbreak. What is this? <laughs> Ace of Wands to the devil. Now that in itself is I'm a player. I want you for the wrong reasons. Ten of Cups right next to it. I will promise you a relationship, but I won't be able to deliver. Okay. Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups, the Strength. This is somebody you're holding back from. Look at this. Queen of Cups to Strength. That's your energy. I feel like there is love between you and somebody from what I can see. But there is a sense of like somebody. It's like, you know, when a certain situation starts and ends as soon as it starts. So there's no level of certainty in a situation. What's the moon? Mm, something is making you unhappy causing you a lot of burden again is the ones 
Why is this such a short-lived situation? I'm telling you that Ace of Wands and the Devil energy, I don't know who this is, but this is a very short-lived situation. Ace of Wands reverse and the Ten of Wands. It's, it's like a, a cycle that you may repeat with somebody again. Because how come your reading is starting off with the Ten of Wands? Now we have the Ten of Wands here. We have Ace of Wands upright, Ace of Wands reverse. So intuitively, I feel like a lot of you, Leo, you can probably tell that this is something that I don't want to be a part of. This is something that I just don't want to do. Um, it's like you feel some type of, you know, when your intuition tells you that there's something wrong about the situation or this person and we don't trust it. We're like, mm, you're, we could just be making things up. It's one of those energies where we tell ourselves we could just be making things up. You know. Let's see. the temperance it's about healing it's about giving yourself the time that is needed six of swords transitioning out with the old and with the new ace of cups for what ace of cups a new beginning a new beginning in love now i do see that there are better options in love for you okay this could even be a relationship ten of pentacles ace of pentacles and the star but with the chariot and the nine of, nine of pentacles and the devil there is somebody else as well there this, this could be two different people but i'm also getting um uh, Leo that the message here it has a lot to do with knowing what works for you and what doesn't and it's it's like you know when we look back at certain relationships and we're like okay this is what I learned from my relationship in the past okay and let me tell you something there's going to be a very unexpected change in your uh, relationship situation or in your partnerships could be business partnerships as well but in your interactions with people mainly romantic relationships uh, a lot of people are getting that Neptunian energy here, um, which again, it could be because of, um, you know, the astrological placements that are going on. We have a lot of planets transiting. Um, we have a lot of planets in Capricorn, then they're going to be transiting into Aquarius and Pisces. We have lots of planets in these three signs. So again, Leo, this is going to impact you as well. And it's... First of all, it's going to impact your romantic relationships and even other things in your life, mainly your romantic relationships, or especially if you're married or you've been married. King of Cups, King of Wands. I, I do see options in love. I straight up see options in love. But what is something you're willing to leave behind? The pain that you're carrying, you know? Uh, Knight of Cups and the Chariot. Yeah, that love offer is coming in. It's like, hmm. The Chariot and the Knight of Cups. Let's do this. Let's make it right. Knight of Swords. Oh my God. Okay. One thing I'm going to yell. The World Reverse. This is a past person's energy. The same Knight of Wands is here. Oh my God. So one thing I'm going to tell you, Leo, is that when you're going to be moving on from this person. Okay. One thing I'm, one thing I'm getting is that your past person, whoever this is, They've been thinking about you a lot with the Nine of Swords energy. It's like they've been not just thinking about you, but they've been overthinking about you and the situation. Okay. Uh, with the World Reverse, there's an energy of unfinished business. Ten of Swords Reverse. They're not giving up on you. There's, there is going to be a past person who's going to come back. But again, these are choices that you have to make. What is something you're going to choose, the new or the old? Your advice here, Emperor, Three of Swords, High Priestess, you know better, so do better. That's what I heard. High Priestess, trusting your intuition. Now, even with this person, your intuition was right all along the way. But you kept telling yourself that what I'm feeling, you didn't validate your feelings. You kept pushing it aside and brushing it under the rug. Your heartbreak or, you know, it's either that you get heartbroken or it's a pattern in your relationships that you need to recognize. Emperor, High Priestess, taking the responsibility for our own happiness. Also, 
something is going to change for you drastically you're going to you're going to really feel enlightened and you're going to feel like th- how you perceive things has changed majorly in march and april okay ace of pentacles star and the uh, ten of pentacles four of cups are you receptive to it what you've been looking forward to it's coming in but are you receptive to it that's the thing Show me what's for Leo. Show me what's for Leo. Ooh, look at that. We have wedding rings that flipped for you. Union, wedding, marriage, soul connection. You have talking, addiction, girl with the snake, and the chaser. So there has been a runner-chaser dynamic, okay? A lot of you are going to be communicating with the person who's, who's taking you serious because we have Ten of Pentacles here, but then there's another energy here of a codependent relationship where there was runner-chaser dynamic. Looking at your social media and missing you, they have regrets. I am telling you, your past person with the Nine of Swords energy... <sighs> They've been thinking long and hard about this. And I feel like Leo, just when they will sense that you're moving on, they're going to show up. It always happens. When we when we move on, we're, we are doing better for ourselves. Somebody wants to show up. Let's see. What do we have for Leo? You can check out the reading about your person. It will be linked below for the month of March, okay? Let's see. You have regret and gratitude. We cannot really change what happened. We cannot waste our our energy on regret but we can look forward and have gratitude okay i'm thankful for the life for this life and the opportunities that it presents uh, let's read for you gratitude the soulful card is telling you that it is time to stop close your eyes and become mindful of the, of the incredible gift of the universe that has been bestowed upon you in offering valuable and unique lessons tailored especially for your soul this is an important reminder to express your appreciation for what has been, what will be, and most important, who you are. You may even find it helpful to begin to write a list of all the things you're grateful for in your life. When you put forth the contemplation and the energy to do this, it awakens thoughts that acknowledge your connection to all of this. By bringing yourself into a state of gratitude, it not only has a transforming effect on the energy, in the sacred space surrounding you but also brings about an overall sense of health and well-being so that's it leo that was the message that showed up for you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended link below if you're interested take care and bye bye bye